Okay, I think we're good. Hey guys, what's up? So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I am gonna give you guys a tour of my room and setup because I thought it would be pretty cool to show you guys. And to your complete surprise, I actually enjoy watching these vlog kind of videos, like IRL videos. And, you know, most of the time I kind of enjoy doing them myself, even though I don't do them as much. I actually kind of enjoy doing it. I am a little nervous because I don't usually, I don't usually sit here and talk to the camera straight forward. You guys are usually used to seeing me right here playing some Mario Kart Tour, but that's not what we're doing today. So... Today I'm just going to take you around my bedroom and set up. Uh, I mean, Christmas is coming soon. Maybe you guys could get some ideas off of me if you want to upgrade your gaming setups. I don't know what this video is going to be. I'm just showing you around. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so fair warning before we begin. Uh, I know I said that I enjoy doing these vlog kind of videos from time to time, but... I gotta say, I'm not really good at doing these sort of tour videos. It's kind of just like, oh, hey, look at this, and then move on. But that's my uh, that's my quick disclaimer, so please bear with me. But we're going to quickly get into the setup. But first, I have to show you guys something that I think is pretty cool. Bam. I know, you might just have to shield your eyes because this is just such a sacred location. But this is where I, the real metalsmith, sleeps. You guys are actually really lucky beyond space and time that you're seeing this and then if we look up if we look over here we have the thwomp plushie i've had this thwomp plushie pretty much since i moved into this house which was like october 2017 he's always been by my side he's my boy he's just chilling he's doing his thing so that's pretty cool and then if we go over here we got the mario hat rack y'all already know we got the 8-bit sprites look at all this so gorgeous and then we got all the hats hanging down here you know you may you may have seen some hats that i've worn in videos get the design underneath maybe they look familiar those kinds of hats they're all hanging here and i'm wearing one right now so this is where they all stay and then you know you got some lip balm some deodorant hygienic stuff on deck all the time and then over here, there's a lamp. What? So cool. And if, if I go down here, the switch is on the floor. So if I use my foot, I can press the button, which is underneath my bed. I turn it on and off. So cool. All right, that was a quick glance at my bedroom in general, or my personal stuff, the way I sleep. Now we're actually gonna get into the part that everyone's been waiting for, the setup. We're gonna start with this side of the setup. There's a lot of stuff here. Things are scattered everywhere. You know, you got some, you got some pencils right there, and then uh, you got some cream here. This is this cream is for my face, uh, but don't put don't get your head into the gutter. This is it's not what you think it is. This is uh, because my skin is very prone to acne, so I have this cream just to treat my face, and I have a acne treating routine pretty much every every day, and it works out perfectly every single time. So. This is for this is for my crusty skin. I swear on God, this is for this is for my skin. Not only is it for my face, but it's for my skin. There's a PS4 controller right here. But wait, don't get ahead of yourself. This is not the PS4 controller that I use. Bam! I know. So this is the PS4 controller that I use right now, just because it's plugged into my computer. I use this PS4 controller to play games on Steam. I've always been a console gamer. What can I say? I don't like playing games with a keyboard or mouse, too many buttons, and um, I thought I almost dropped the controller. It actually was close to dropping. So these are, let's see if I can bring it to the light here, these are hair elastics because what you guys actually don't know is like I, I've never had my hat off while I was recording a video for YouTube, but underneath the hat there is a lot of hair hiding. I, If I get an available picture, I'll put it up right now, but there is a lot of hair hiding underneath this hat. I swear on God, there's a lot of hair. So that's why I have these elastics. Whenever my hair isn't down, I like to rock a man bun. Then you got the switch light. Sometimes when I get distracted while working, I'll, uh, 
I'll play some Switch Lite. I'm just kidding. I, I don't, I don't, like, I do get distracted sometimes when I'm doing work, but I don't hop on this. This is just like, whenever I'm bored, I want to chill in bed, play some Switch Lite. This is just, this is just for chillaxing purposes. And you know what? I did this with Mario Kart Tour, so I'm going to do this with Switch real quick. If you guys want a friend request me, my friend code is right there. And then we have some, some hand wipes. These are like hand sanitizing wipes. I honestly don't know what these are. I've never opened them, but they're always on deck whenever I need them. You know, trying to keep my hands clean, trying to stay a little clean, you know what I'm saying? And then to finish off this part of the desk, we have the Amazon Echo, but it isn't plugged in. The plug just fell on the floor earlier today. I don't know where it is, but I some for a while I used Amazon Echo, but the reason I'm, I'm not using it now is because every time I try to ask Alexa a question, she always just doesn't answer at all. Like, what will happen is I'll call her name, like I'll say Alexa, and then lights will turn on on the bottom, and then I ask her a question, and... When I ask the question, the lights just stay there and they freeze. Like, it's like she's not doing anything. It's like she's ignoring me completely. And then afterwards, the light just the lights just stay on for all eternity. So, I don't use Alexa anymore. I don't really have a reason to. So, she's just there. But I could, like, press this button, which doesn't do anything. Like, you could say Alexa and she won't answer you. It's kind of like the mute button, kind of. And I could just use this for time. Maybe I'll find some use for this later on. All right, so that is enough for this side of the desk. Now we have the middle of the desk, which is obviously the most important part of the setup. Obviously, y'all already know we got all the acoustic foam on deck. I'm actually gonna back up so you guys can get a good view of this. Never underestimate the power of foam, trust me. So we got all the acoustic foam. This is, I just said acoustic foam. <laughs> So we got all <laughs> the acoustic foam all over the place. That way, whenever I'm sitting down and I'm speaking into the foam, there's barely any echo in the room. And then it's right in front of your face. You got the ring light, probably the most important part of the computer setup. Now, the thing about the ring light is that the plug for it is right here and it comes out on the front of the desk. Let me sit down and actually show you guys. Oh, uh, speaking of sitting down, Dragon War, gaming chair y'all already know red and black so cool anyways so let me sit down on the chair and let me tell you why i like having the plug in the front and it's pretty much self-explanatory because this is what controls the light hold on let me zoom into this for a second so this is what controls the light and there's so many settings and i like to just monitor the light when i'm speaking into the camera so like i could turn it off and there we go, the light is off, but this looks like an anus, so I'm gonna turn it back on. You can also turn the brightness down. Like, what My brightness setting right now is at max, so I'm gonna turn it back down, or turn it down. There we go, that's the lowest setting. And then when you press the top button, which is the very top one, you can turn the brightness back up. There we go, now it's back. And the middle button, right here is to switch between light settings. Now there's three different uh, light settings for this. There's normal, which is what I have now. If I press the button, there's cool or cold. I, I forgot what it was called, but it basically makes the light a bit, a little bit more darker, but blue. And then there's warm. This is a really nice light setting to have sometimes if I'm just toning down or getting ready for bed or something. But when I'm recording, I like to have the normal light on because it it's a lot more bright, more brightness on my face. You guys can see me better now that I'm using a face cam in my videos. So you guys really see me in full effect now. All right, we got the computer monitor. That's my YouTube page. I'm at 359 subscribers as I'm recording this. You guys should really subscribe to my channel. Get me to 400, that would be great. And we got two speakers on the side. Yes, I know. I'm a boomer, and uh, we got the keyboard. I like me, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I actually really like full-size keyboards. I love full-size keyboards. Like, I, there are some keyboards where, okay, I, I pressed the key on accident with my palm. I was wondering if that did anything with my computer. No, so there are some keyboards that just, that are like this, and there are some of the keyboards where this is missing and this is all they have. 
I don't like small keyboards. I actually really like full size. Like, this is my kind of keyboard. And guys, hold on. Listen, listen to this, okay? This, this is gonna blow your mind. That's right, everyone. It's a mechanical keyboard. So cool. So yeah, that's the keyboard. And now we have the mouse. Now this mouse I've had for a hot minute. I've had it for probably two years now, probably two years, one or two years. And this was like, this was $20. This was all I could afford. And you know what? It's actually a really good mouse, a really good budget friendly mouse. I forgot what it was called, but this this mouse is really working well for me. This is a really good mouse, actually. All right, so that's enough uh, for the computer. Now we move on to the last part of the desk, which is the longer side. So over here we have the microphone. This is the microphone uh, for my computer. Uh, if I press down on the button here, I can turn the microphone off and I can turn it on. If you take this off, you can actually see the microphone. So I can do this. Bam, there you go, there's the microphone. But I usually like having this on because it's worth for better audio. Now, if you turn this left and right, some of you might know this, but if, for those of you that don't, this is the microphone sensitivity. So like, if it's really, really high, I could speak quietly and my voice will be blasting in y'all's ears. So I like to keep it at neutral from time to time, but that's how it works. And then we're gonna move on one step to the left to the headsets. Now, you guys might be wondering, Metal, this headset, this so-called headset stand is completely made out of wood. Like this is, look at, look at this guys. This is genuinely made out of pure wood. And I'm gonna tell you why, because I actually made this in wood shop class at school. So at the time, I didn't really know if I wanted to afford a headset stand, but then I saw an opportunity. My teacher told me like, okay, so our final project is going to be personal projects. You can make whatever you'd like and I'm gonna grade you on the skills that I have taught you. So I decided to make a headset stand and you know what? It is working very, very well. This is the headset that I use for videos with the microphone right here. That's actually how I get my voice in. And then there's another headset back there. So there's actually a story to this. The headset in the back is more of like a comfort headset if I'm going to listen to music on long car or plane rides. I need a headset that I am going to be able to wear for hours on end and still be comfortable by the time I take it off. I used to have another headset that made me feel comfortable, but it was starting to get jacked up. It was starting acting up. So I'm like, okay, that's enough. I need a new headset. And then I got this last year, actually. And this headset is pretty much soundproof because I barely hear anything when I wear it. So yeah, those are the headsets. Now we're just gonna move on to a little bonus things right here. This is uh, the tripod. Obviously, you guys are gonna be interested in seeing this. This is the tripod that I use to get my angle correctly when I play Mario Kart Tour with a face cam. I tilt the thing pretty tough actually. I tilt the thing to the side so I can put my phone in portrait mode while still getting a face cam. Other times when I want to have it in landscape mode, keep it like that and you can use this stick to bend it back and forth. Really good, really useful for videos and pictures. And then when you move down you got the tissues right here. Tissue is very important for any gaming setup. You got some snacks right there, and there's an original Oculus Quest 1 because, you know, sometimes we need that VR, you know what I'm saying? And then there's this thing. You might just be wondering what this is. These are the Teotronics earbuds. The I've had these earbuds for going on two years now, actually. These are what I use for, like, just normal car rides or whenever I just want to listen to music casually. These have been by my side for so long, and honestly, these earbuds have been through some things. I've dropped them a couple of times. 
like I can already feel some dents in here or some some chips. And if I move it into the light, actually, let me try moving it into light. You can kind of see that there are scratches underneath, but they still work. They're still in pretty good condition, and that's what matters. And if we move up, we got the pin board. Now, I'm only going to go over a few things here because some of the things can be personal. That's just a drawing that my friend made me. Um, there's just a random pin here, and I can actually tell you why. Actually, give me a second. So there's multiple people in my house, I don't live alone, and that's why I have this recording light. So it says, quiet please recording in progress. Literally what I do is I just stick it outside my door while it's plugged in right there. And everything is monitored with this switch so that whenever I turn it on, boom, just like that. Now everyone in the house knows I'm recording and whenever they pass by they know to be quiet and they just know I'm, I'm recording, so they're not gonna interrupt me or anything. Uh, but I am going to quickly put this back outside because I don't want people thinking I'm done recording. And the last thing I wanna showcase on the pin board is this. Look at what this says, guys. Look at what this says. It says, congratulations, Mario Kart winner. Now, I would stand here and explain how I won at Mario Kart, but I'm not in the mood to do that. I'm not just going to stand here and talk at a pin board. Uh, instead, I'm just going to write uh, the story down in the description. So if you guys want to know how I won the Mario Kart tournament, or a Mario Kart tournament, go to the description and you can read the story. This is completely optional. You don't have to do it. Actually, one more thing before I end off the video. I want to show you guys a little bit in the closet. Now, please excuse me. The closet is a little bit of a mess. There's just some clothes here. But what I really wanted to show you, what I wanted to show you was this. All of this. These are things or display boxes that don't really see the light of day anymore. Like these are all hats that I stopped wearing. Uh, this, okay, so I stopped wearing this one because it was getting small and pretty much like I would be wearing this at the very top of my head. Like it wouldn't really fit me like a proper hat. Others I stopped wearing. And then there's some boxes up here. There's a keyboard and mouse up there, and that is actually the first ever keyboard and mouse that I've had with my setup. And then I bought another one, and then I felt like I could break it in half because it was so light. And then afterwards it started cropping out, so that's why I decided to buy another keyboard, and that's when I got the mechanical keyboard. So yeah, but that's the keyboard that started it all. We got some other boxes over here, you know, we got the microphone box, which you guys can't really see because it's dark. Uh, you got the Ring Fit Adventure box, the gaming headset box, which I still have because that headset is from like 2018, 2019 something. There is the Comfort headset, E7. There's my Nintendo Switch box, if you can see that. There's my mouse, my keyboard, my ring light. Uh, and another ring light so that this cardboard box everything came in it and this was just the light specifically and then there's uh, my Christmas hat with a beard which uh, spoiler alert I'm going to wear in upcoming Christmas videos so uh, you guys weren't supposed to know that until later but I guess you do now all right so that's just about gonna do it for the setup I really hope you guys enjoyed the little tour I apologize if the setup may have looked a little bit messy or not in your favor. I don't want to see any judgmental comments because if I do, I swear to God, I will not do anything. But I thought this was a little bit, uh, a little bit of a something different, and it was actually kind of fun to record. I was getting nervous this whole time, and I had a little bit of trouble recording it. But honestly, I don't know why I was nervous. This is actually really fun to make. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you Wednesday for the new tour that's coming out.